What's up everyone? David from DoD Media. Markers are a great tool to use when you're editing video, when you're working on animation, because you can use markers to tell you cue points that are linked to music, that are linked to a certain thing happening in a certain shot, when a certain thing needs to happen. The problem with markers when you're using Premiere and After Effects is that there's not always an easy way to make one send to the other or to read markers from one of the programs in one of the other programs. And so today I'm going to show you one of the easy workarounds that I use to send markers to After Effects and then from After Effects back to Premiere Pro. Let's go. Okay, so let's imagine that you've got a sequence in Premiere Pro like I have here and you've got a music track that you want to be able to animate to. Now, audio doesn't work that well in After Effects, which I'm sure you know because this is probably why you've come across this video. I think the reason for that is pretty simple. After Effects isn't a nonlinear editor. It's a animation tool. It's a visual effects tool. It's not designed to edit to actually do edits with. It's designed to create content that you then put in your edits. So we can forgive After Effects its inability to play music back properly at you know real time and all that. However, we need a way to play that music back in Premiere Pro, mark along the sequence where we want things to happen, events to happen, and then somehow send that to After Effects so that we have that in After Effects so we don't need to be listening to the track in After Effects, which involves a lot of RAM previewing and a lot of time wasted. That's the whole wonder of Dynamic Link is that you don't have to waste all this time, so let's use it. All right, let's jump into Premiere Pro. I'll show you what we got. So I've just made a sequence and I've got this track and I'm just gonna dump this track into this sequence. Perfect, lovely. Now the problem is that I don't have any footage in here and I'm going to be making all this this content, all this footage in After Effects. So the best way to do that would be to put markers on this clip and then somehow have those in After Effects. Here is the simplest way that I've found, anyway, uh, to do this. You just right click, new item, adjustment layer, bam, cool, make it the same as the comp, drag your adjustment layer in, Make it the same length as the music if you need it to be the same length as the music. Select your layer, press play, and have your finger hovering over the M button. M as in marker. And as it plays, just hit markers as you need them. You get the picture. Okay, so next up, you just want to duplicate that adjustment layer by holding Alt or Option and dragging it up. And that way you preserve that layer that has all of those markers on it. Then you right click one of those and you choose replace with After Effects composition. That will send that adjustment layer to After Effects. After Effects will create an entire composition using that adjustment layer as a reference and then send that entire composition back to Premiere Pro. So what you've done is you've forced After Effects to create a composition, send it back to Premiere Pro with all of the markers, as you can see here, on that adjustment layer still present. Pretty good. Then you can come along and create all of your content and sync it to those markers using those markers as visual references, as time references in After Effects. That's awesome. And because it's an adjustment layer with no effects on it, it's going to be invisible. It's not going to do anything to your footage. And there you go, it's that simple to send markers from Premiere Pro to After Effects to have visual cues to work to when you're composing stuff in After Effects. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked and learned from what you saw. Hit that subscribe button to get more videos from me at DoD Media. Leave a comment in the comment section if you know other ways of sending markers back and forth between the two programs. You might win something free from my store if it's helpful. And I'll see you in the next video.